Hey, this is AJ, aka Asar, and you're watching Disney Channel because I can't remember what I was supposed to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. You ready? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> you really kill me. <laughs> Okay, all right, okay. all right. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. It's still rolling, you ready? Hey, this is AJ, AKSR, and you're watching Reality with no CK. Hey, if she doing her thing, man, make sure you follow my girl. What's going on, you guys? It's your girl, CK, here with Reality. And I'm here with the one and only Asar. <laughs> But he's known in these streets as AJ, the music king. I love this kid. What's going on? Nothing much. I uh, happy to be here. This is really cool. Oh, don't make me blush. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so reason being that I love that you're here is because you're from the hometown of Chicago. Yes, ma'am. Right? You kind of understand what it be to hustle, especially if you're still in school. How what grade are you in right now? Uh, so technically. Technically, I'm supposed to be a senior, but this, in terms of credit hour standards, I'm a junior. We get that. We get, <laughs> look, I get that. I, 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 I get that. I get that. It's one of those. It's one of those, but, you know, you're still in school. You're mm -hmm. still pretty young. You just turned 21, and you're doing a lot for a 21-year-old, especially you have majority of your music now out on Apple iTunes. Congratulations. Thank you. That's a lot. Appreciate so, it. let's just start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like your hustle developed? Um, well, first and foremost, I'm, I'm really competitive. Um, the way I even, like, started rapping in general is because one of my older brothers uh, was heavy into, like, instrumentals and, like, writing and stuff like that. And because I looked up to him when I was younger, like, we would write together. And at first I'm like, all right, I have to try to impress him with what I'm writing. Right. And it turned from that to, all right, now I got to get better than him at right. what I'm writing. And... Like, once I finally got that recognition from him, it's just something that I kind of hit the ground running with. You had that beginning when you were young with your brother, mm -hmm. and it pretty much evolved you, especially lyrically. Your lyrics are very narrative. You tell a storyline, it's like I'm watching a movie, but the song <laughs> ends, I'm like, damn, what happened? So, in, in your lyrics, mm -hmm. what do you feel like your message is portraying those lyrics as you're writing it down on the paper? Um... Majority of the time, it's it's just my personal narrative. Um, but in addition to like, I try to give a message of hope uh, or faith or something within those lines or those parameters every time that I write something out. Where do you think that message comes from, or where do you think that uh, idea to give that message of faith comes from? From one being the way I was raised. I mean, I was I was raised in a traditional. Christian household, um, so a lot of those values and those ethics like, mm -hmm. definitely transitioned over into me personally and into my music. But in addition to, um, I feel like that's kind of been the overarching like topic to everything I've done since I've been in college, and even before then. Like, there's been a lot that you feel me, I've been blessed with. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, and like, if I didn't have the faith that I do, and the things that I do, and the things that I wanted to happen, I don't think that they would be manifested. So like, I just kind of want other people to have the same thing. Too. Okay, I feel the energy flowing. <laughs> I like that it wouldn't have manifested. Now, it seems like your whole life has manifested into something else now, because you're about to be one of the next things popping out of the city of Chicago. So. <laughs> no, seriously, there's a lot of buzz going around you right now. So how do you feel like? you can still keep that message and still balance around your life as a student. Because a lot of times, we see a lot of people that go into the media field or go into the industry and they're, you know, heavy strong one way, but because of the way, let's just be real, the media may perceive someone, mm -hmm. the identity changes. So how are you trying to keep that identity? Um, it's, so, one, I can't, like, I can't write about anything that doesn't pertain to me, like anything that's not me. I've, I've literally tried and not on some like trying to change my own personal message, but like I've had people ask like, hey, could you write a song for me like about this situation? And I'd be like, okay, yeah, I'll try it. But it's like when I try to put pen to pad, it just, it doesn't sit right because like it's not, it's not personal to me, so I can't speak from that perspective. Um, 
And with that being the case, I, I can only write on what I know. So I, if I were to try and change my message, I feel like it just wouldn't come across right. And and even beyond that, like I would never want to. Um, this is this is first and foremost like for me. This is this is the way like I express myself through yeah. my art. You know what I mean? Yeah. So your newest project growth it actually released on your birthday her birthday by the way Thank 21 <laughs> um don't get to no trouble now no i'm, I'm cool i'm cool <laughs> um so you just released your project growth mm -hmm. uh it again released on apple itunes which is pretty big and again it's beginning buzz last time you released a project like that it was craving on twitter it's called the six page letter mm -hmm. it was so big <laughs> that it was trending on twitter for at least two days and i think not only in the city of chicago but within the nation you know what i'm saying yeah. so what's coming up what do you what do you feel like you need to put your message toward and your role in that message um so what's coming up um i'll be working on like more singles more music probably a couple more EPs, but the bulk of my attention is going towards my next full-length project, um, which is probably going to take a while, and I'll honestly, oh. but uh, the name of it is David, um, and I don't want to really give too much information no, on okay. this Okay, you know, I feel you. You're trying to keep them hot. Keep them hot. I get it. I get but it. I feel like that, when you listen to growth, like, I feel like it gives you an idea of what direction, like, my music is taking yeah. from this point forward, um, and the sound that I'm evolving into, because even if you listen to the six-page letter, you listen to growth, like, it's this, like, there's growth, yeah, there's literal exactly. growth, that's why I like the title, there's literal growth, and it wasn't even to say, like, when you heard, when I first heard the six-page letter, mm -hmm. I was like, damn. This kid got it. I mean, we heard, you know, certain singles and you would debut them on campus, but we were like, damn, this dude is really a genius. Thanks. So now you're moving on to kind of like the next phase to so where mm -hmm. people are going to be looking for albums. We're going to be looking for bigger, huger visual projects. Mm -hmm. And what I kind of just want to get to is as you're entering the media industry, what do you feel like your role is here? Why do you feel like you need to be here? Um because I feel like I deliver a message that isn't much talked about. Um, I feel like, from my perspective, like, there's, there's, and, and I was just having this conversation yesterday, which is crazy. <laughs> um, we were talking about, like, rappers who really do spread positivity and, like, who aren't afraid to talk about their ethics and morals, et cetera, et cetera, in music. And when you think about that, the only two people that really come to mind who are prevalent, Kendrick, Chance. Mm -hmm. Those are really the two. Um, and I was talking about how like trailblazing, they, they really are in that aspect because it's not something that you see much. And I feel like because of that, it's kind of opened the door for me as well. Um, and in that same regard, like I just want to keep the ball rolling. Um, I feel like I was blessed to have the platform that I do. And with that being the case, like I just wanna, I wanna be able to get it's back. Just, it's just, I'm, I feel so honored just being here right now. But like, you know, and that's great. One of my main purposes for this project, mm -hmm. as we were speaking about before, is using media as a communication tool. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we see media as more of a commodity mm -hmm. because of the way we see big industries use media. Right. So, how can we transform that? How could somebody else that maybe is not in rap, mm -hmm. maybe that's, you know, not in entertainment, but may do something in media, whether it's arts, whether it's beauty, whether it's writing, mm -hmm. how can we as a society or as a people change the way media is seen as and not use it as a commodity anymore, we use it as a communication tool? Um, I feel like one of the things that would help most is like if people didn't have such like a crabs in a barrel mentality. Okay. Like like if everybody works together towards a common goal, like it would be more prevalent. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like the people who are the most prevalent probably aren't concerned about much outside of the money aspect too. Mm -hmm. um, and the people who really do care, like they just don't have the power. So like working together to get to that point, mm -hmm. It's a balance. Yeah. It's a little balance. Okay, yeah. see, you opened the minds. <laughs> I like that. I like 
said. Well, just as a wrap up and following up, you have a lot of fans. You do. A lot of people really not only genuinely like your music, but just genuinely like you for who you are. You got a so, whole lot of game. <laughs> <a> lot of game. <laughs> so, what do you say to those who are literally watching your every step? You know, everybody to your family, to those that you build connections with, to those who are looking to invest in you, pretty much. What do you say to those people as you, you know, you're moving along the ladder? Um, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, like, just thank you. Um, I really I really don't take any of that for granted. Because um, I realize there are a whole lot of people who are probably a whole lot more talented than I am who yeah. don't really get, like, like yeah. yeah. Um, and because of the people who support me, I've been pushed to the forefront countless times. And competitions, I was just in a competition for uh, a Chicago Reader. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I didn't I didn't win, but I, I was runner up, and the person yeah. I lost to was Chance, and it was for like uh, best Chicago hip hop artist, and I wow. came second. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 <laughs> I didn't know that. Wow. Well, yeah. That's big. That's a yeah. still. That's still congratulations. Thank you. Still. It's it's just it's just stuff like that. Like with this was based off of like people voting. Mm-hmm. And. You feel me? Like just, just a little, like not even little, but stuff like that. Like taking that, that extra time out to actually support, coming out to shows, like buying merch, all of that. Like that means a whole lot to me. My heart warms up when you talk. It does. <laughs> I love it. I, I really do. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Um. Thank you for having me. This is really you know, cool. we really, yeah. You know, we have our conversations. <laughs> we do. We literally have our conversations, yeah. like off camera. Just, yo, what's going on? Like, this is what I'm thinking about. Just checking this. in. So, what is your advice to me? Because you know, I'm a post this. What Shoot. is your advice to me, as this, you know, in this. the media world, trying to like really push to make to change the face of what media is seen as? I would say just keep grinding. Like you know how you know how we we first started talking. Like, <laughs> All right. When we first started, I literally because I saw what you were doing, I was just like, "Can you give me some advice?" Hey, on, on I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> like that is how this all started. Um, and since then, like I feel like we both progressed so much. So like, you know, I just I just want us to keep progressing. And, this, and in two years team. from now, you feel me? When we come back and we do this again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do it again. Yeah, we can that, just. To talk about it. That's lovely. Thank you so much Thank for just you. giving us your reality. Now, there's one thing that I like to do with everybody that comes on and talks with me is for them to give a reality check. And this okay. is just a little something that, you know, a quick little message to those who are looking on what your reality check of the day is or your biggest lesson from your reality. What would be your reality check be for those watching? Hey, this is AJ, a.k.a. SR, and my reality check is, first and foremost, what you want isn't always necessarily what you need. Um, and in addition to that, patience is key. With patience, you can accomplish so much more than you even thought you could. Hey, look, from the king, this is a king right here. I'm telling y'all, he's going to have his own little kingdom. Y'all going to be like, dang, wow. I don't know. Thank you so much, AJ. I truly appreciate it. You're back here with No CK in reality, okay? Stay tuned. We're coming back. I came too far, worked too hard, just to get here and feel so defeated. Fight till my strength get depleted, yeah. I came too far. Work too hard.